the contemporary kitchen has become more of a gathering place for friends and family to spend time together. We can no longer consider this location merely functional. However, if you can fashion a respectable kitchen nook, you may be able to make this concept a reality despite your limited square footage. A kitchen nook is a small table and chair set up in a kitchen corner or elsewhere in the room that can seat four people for informal meals. You can set up the tables and chairs like a restaurant, or they can be built as benches or placed in front of windows. It sounds fantastic, right? Thus, we've developed these 12 kitchen nook ideas to help you enjoy your meals comfortably. As always, Simp Home brings you the list. Number 12. A Kitchen Nook with a Hidden Sliding Rack Idea An innovative way to add storage is to build a sliding rack to fit into a kitchen alcove. You may use this simple do-it-yourself technique to consolidate your barware into one convenient location. First, get some wood boards to create the frame of the rack. Then, cut the boards to the size of the opening at the back of the bench. To keep drinks from spilling, you can also use dowel rods. Slides for the drawers should be attached to the base of the rack next. The last touch is a pull knob for the rack. Number 11. A Renter-Friendly Kitchen Nook Idea from HGTV Typically, rental properties feature tiny kitchens with limited or no dining area. Create a cozy eating area in your kitchen without breaking the bank by using some basic pieces of furniture. A simple bookcase can serve as a makeshift banquette. To start, turn the shelf on its side and push it against an empty wall. Then, get four upholstered cushions and tie them up on the shelf for cozy seating. In addition, some lumbar cushions will serve as the backrest. Next, place a slightly extendable table and three chairs in front of the banquette. Remember that the empty horizontal shelves are a great space for book storage. Number 10. A three-legged foldable dining table If you're short on room in your kitchen, you'll love this clever nook design. The sleek design of this folding table with three sturdy legs is unwavering. Construct it next to the window in the kitchen and it will always be within easy reach. First, you'll put the legs together, make the wall mount, make the foldable tabletop, and finally put the legs on top. For the legs, cut all required pieces for legs, rails, and short legs, adjust them, and assemble all the components. For the tabletop, you'll need three components, mounting upturn, mounting top, and folding top. When the legs and table assemblies are ready, screw them to the wall. Number 9. A simple breakfast nook idea with storage this kitchen nook can accommodate more people, making it perfect for hosting a feast. To begin with, remove the baseboard off the wall to nail the base of the bench frame so they'll be sturdy. Then, form the board frame following the 90-degree angle. Next, nail some plywood on the side and top of the seat. Bring in a DIY table to the spot. To polish the nook up, install wainscoting along the wall. Add cushions and pillows because they'll always be great for statement and style. Number 8. Renew your banquette upholstery without costing you a fortune If you're trying to save money, renovating your existing banquette upholstery can be a better alternative than building a new one. Do it yourself in a few minutes for less than $60. To complete this project, you'll need foam toppers, insulating fabric, and upholstery fabric. The leather-like fabric used in this project is soft and easy to clean, creating an atmosphere reminiscent of a chic farmhouse. First, attach the foam topper to the plywood work surface with staples, then trim the overhang. Fabric for the upholstery, insulation, and foam topper should all be placed face down before assembly. After that, staple the insulating cloth around the plywood to secure it. Now you can wrap the upholstery fabric tightly. Number 7. The IKEA Hack Kitchen Nook Idea IKEA is well known for its versatile function and affordable price. Thus, using the bookcase as banquette seating for the kitchen nook saves time and money. You'll need two IKEA Calyx bookcases to form the shape of an L to fit the corner. Lay them horizontally on their backside so the storage is face up. Then secure the bench to the wall and the floor with anti-tip brackets. To cover the top, use some plywood and attach them to the bookcases using piano hinges. Number 6. A DIY budget-friendly kitchen makeover and custom nook transformation. In this dining area, modern black and white give way to a more retro palette with hints of beige and green. First, Kelsey painted the nook matte black. She replaced the table by repurposing a historic cast iron leg and a white marble top she found at a thrift store and making them all fit together with silicone. She finished this nook with great pieces. She hung beige linen drapes before sewing custom black bench cushions and adding ladder-covered wishbone chairs. Number 5. A High-End Looking Breakfast Nook Idea for Cheap by Ojoy Studio 
Since the main dining table doubles as a shared workspace, this nook is used for lunch breaks and extra seating for gatherings or guests sleeping downstairs. It seats five to six and may accommodate a small party when friends and family visit. This thin wall to the left of the nook is excellent for plants, paintings, and mokum wallpaper that complete the nook with a tropical backdrop. Number 4. A Classic DIY Drop Leaf Dining Table A drop leaf table design has one center section and two folding laps on each side. Instructions Prepare three sections cut of wood sheets on the tabletop and place them side by side. Mark a center spot on the middle section, then draw a circular line from this spot and cut them out. Assemble the three sections using butt hinges. Make a support assembly to the bottom of the table to strengthen the attachment to the legs. Number 3. An Industrial Drop Leaf Table Idea As an extended table, a drop leaf table is a sought-after addition to a compact cooking space. Folding leaves can be stored under the table when not in use or extended to create a larger surface area. It's DIY-friendly, too. Get a hardwood board divided into three pieces as a starting point. They need to have a pair of equals. Connect the three pieces together using drop leaf hardware and two pine wood block supports. The next steps are constructing the pipe legs and painting the table. Number 2. Turn dressers into a breakfast nook. Instead of a traditional bookcase, a dresser can serve as a banquette in the kitchen. You need two Nordly dressers from Ikea, one with six drawers and one with eight drawers. Then place them against the wall in the corner. Make a small hollow box to fill the gap at the corner so all the drawers are still open. The dressers are suitable for storing tablecloths, serving bowls, cups, glasses, and other cutlery. Enhance the look by tossing a sleek fur blanket and cushions for extra comfort. Before we complete the countdown with our final choice of the current list, we'd like to inform you that if you need other improvement ideas, you have Simphome Content Collections on your side. There, we cover other interesting topics such as garden, home improvement, finance, bathroom upgrade, bedroom update ideas, and many more. We'll see you there, and until we meet again sometime in the future, let's close our countdown with number one. A convertible shelf table to a dining table by Cannibal DIY. This iron folding table has shelves and works in the same way as a Murphy table. You'll only need four 92 centimeter iron bars, eight 30 centimeter iron measuring rods, six six centimeter and two eight centimeter flat irons. To assemble the iron table, brackets, and legs, weld the various pieces needed. Use air pistons to lift and lower the table without breaking a sweat. Later, choose four 18mm poplar plywood sections for the wooden shelves. Paint them white and gray before attaching them to the iron frame. That's it for now. Before you leave this presentation, we'd like to appreciate every second you spend watching the video. If we deserve more of your attention in the future, press the subscribe button if you haven't done it already. Like the video if you believe it will motivate the YouTube algorithm to push the video to more people. Honestly though, it's more like a myth to us, so feel free to move on with your plan after the video ends. Lastly, we hope you have great luck with your health and project. See you again soon!